Strength. I don't know. It's uh, no. It, you know, I just uh, the whole workout seemed to be a little stronger and just you know relax a little more relaxed and went a little easier because of, I was having a little more strength from something. Jerry, I uh, want you uh, in your daily road work uh, to drink uh, the aid before and uh, during your run, and then at the completion also uh, want you to drink the aid between rounds uh, when you're sparring. Uh, the, uh, we will establish uh, the results of this uh, when, when you're done sparring. Uh, I want you to know that uh, this aid has been used extensively in football and basketball players uh, and has been has found uh, to be very effective in maintaining a high energy level. Uh, this is the first time that a boxer uh, has used the aid, uh, and we will plan to give it to you between rounds of your upcoming fight to let you uh, perform to your maximum. Jerry, how do you feel about it? Well, it seems to work a little better. It's a little easier on you when I was running. It uh, seemed to ease my wind a little. Uh -huh. The wind broke a little easier. Now, uh, I know that it won't embarrass you for me to say that uh, probably the biggest uh, problem that you've had so far uh, as a professional fighter has been stamina, right? Maintaining stamina throughout a 10-round fight. Yes, it is. And uh, in the middle rounds is where I seem to slow down a little bit. Sometimes I come on stronger at the finish, but then the middle rounds I can't seem to just push it on through. You, you perspire a great deal, don't you, Jerry, when you're working hard? Considerably. I don't know the reason for it, but I do sweat a little bit more than anybody else does. So then uh, you're losing, uh, I would imagine, doctor, he's losing more uh, more of these essential minerals than the average person would if he perspires more, huh? Well, that's right. Uh, certainly, uh, it, we, we think probably that uh, the person that does uh, perspire a lot would benefit most by this. Mm -hmm. 